Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, once again I'm going to be teaching you how you can get coins to get your favourite team with all your favourite shapeshifter icons and shapeshifter players. So if you're new around here and you do need some coins, make sure to drop a like down below and of course subscribe, you'll be getting one of seven copies of EAFC. If you do win our giveaway, all you've got to do is subscribe, send proof over on Instagram and you'll be entered in. And as usual, if you need coins in a quicker way, well... So if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough or you're not good enough at the game, then right now you need to head over to skycoach.gg. Not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you you can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code pro recall go check them out below make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it so of course guys we do need to get you some coins if you've got none already and there's some basic things for you guys to do now of course you've got moments you've got squad battles you've got rivals and you've got champs now those four as a four are really simple whether you've got a small amount of time and you want to complete a few moments put that towards potentially a tradable moments reward whether you want to do squad battles maybe play a game in the background maybe you're studying university working whatever it is you can do those options as well div rivals obviously i've not actually played this season but if you play a few games you're obviously going to get a tradable option for rewards at the end of the week and coins per game and finally champs if you do complete qualifiers and you do i think four wins you complete qualifiers or even if you fail to get those wins you do get tradable rewards so there's a lot of options there if you can't do any of that take yourself over to the stadium if you've been playing the game all year round what you will find is you've got a load of pointer stuff that you simply don't need if i go over to pitch here for example gold pyrotechnics do i use gold pyrotechnics no have i quick sold all of them yes other than that one from the looks of things so we'll get rid of that as well i don't use them because it's literally pointless no one ever really cares if you celebrate and care about your gold pyrotechnics that's cool for you but I i'm never going to do that so quick selling four of these makes you a thousand coins which although isn't a method if you've got them in your club it's going to get you some coins to do some trading to be honest guys today we are going to be doing a bit of a quicker video it's only going to have and the higher budget stuff so if you don't have twenty thousand coins scoot over to yesterday's video we had some of the lower budget stuff that will really build you up in the first place so first of all where are we going to start i mean now finally unlike me with my exes so of course guys we do usually do some cheaper stuff and i will name some cheaper methods quickly but if you do really want some cheaper stuff take yourself over to yesterday's video and that's kind of got the cheaper methods but if you go for example if you really want to go from the kind of lower end of things france minimum 10 to 50 premier league you've got yourselves barrier shield you've got kante you want to obviously remove canard so guys if you are looking to get obviously the lower end of things we do have a couple methods but remember if you do want the lower end check out yesterday's video we had a few more on there so a simple one first of all is minimum 10 to 50 premier league in spain You've got Laporte, Rodri, Thiago. Very simple filler. Gets you a very decent amount of coinage. Similarly, you can do the same with Brazil. You're going to have the same kind of players, but you've also got Thiago Silva. You've got the likes of Edison. You've got Alisson. You've got Fabinho. So a nice little selection there. Ton of special cards as well. Similarly, you can take the same kind of concept to Netherlands, but I think there's a, a few less players. You kind of just got Van Dijk. You've also got Ake. You've got Van Dijk's kind of special cards, and you've also got Coit. So you've got a couple options in all of those there as well. Now, of course, guys, just like me with my exes, the shapeshifters have now settled so we've kind of got a more secure price so if we go premium shapeshifters you've kind of got from the looks of things a few players there i don't know what the difference between a premium and a lower tier shapeshifter is but it's interesting that there's two card types here so first of all you've just got two card types that you can literally just split with straight away so let's find the cheapest shapeshifter they're going for from the looks of things about forty thousand coins so very simply easily to kind of do a little bit of a fill with that one let's have a look so the cheapest right now is 40 we're looking probably i reckon 42 is where these guys are going to be sitting bang on so 42 realistically ea tax on that is going to be about 2.5k so if you go down to about 39 maybe a little bit lower you're going to find a good place to snipe now you can definitely get more than 42 out of these cards so if you want to sell them for a little bit more or snipe them for a little bit less you can definitely get more profit so you can just kind of sit around see what you can find on the shapeshifters mark if you can't find much you can obviously pop here and just do the compare price now obviously we've got alvarez here on the the non-premium uh shapeshifters you've also got the likes of orsolini um we've also got Bailly so you've got a few players if you want to kind of get them on a multi-filter you can get Bailly and Alvarez on the same one but it seems like those two are a little bit dispersed in terms of the pricing of them and it does seem like from the looks of things okay interesting that the premium shape shifters aren't necessarily the premium cards because you've got Van Dyke and Bruno there but it does seem like maybe these guys might be a better mark to to move up from next so obviously you're not going to be finding your Bruno Fernandez's and your Van Dyke's on the cheaper filter but from the looks of things you can kind of push up from from shapeshifters to premium shapeshifters and it's quite a nice little flowing uh, move there so looking at the the prices here 88 89 we're looking at 90k now obviously we do need to check because ea do love to finesse us with the buy nows let's check what toko's 
buy now is right now. So Toko can be right now is minimum 60K. Okay, so the, realistically, you've got a good berth of profit available. If we go down to 90K, EA tax is about five. So you wanna probably go to 83, 500. You're making one to 2K per card. So spam that out, spend as much time on it as you can. Obviously, it's not gonna be a filter where you're gonna be getting a ton of cards really, really, really low. I think that you're probably gonna get quite a few at you know one, two, 3K profit. Obviously, I don't think these are very easy to pack. So that is something to bear in mind. Premium shapeshifters, especially with the way it seems to be going, they are a little bit of a difficult card. Now, of course, you can break this down per league and you can break this down further up from there. Obviously, I can see if we have a look on the team of the week section, shapeshifters, it doesn't break them down between premium and non-premium. So I don't know what the difference really is, but we've got Toko Kambi, players like that. We've got Frankowski, um, obviously you've got Alvarez, Orsolini, Becker on the kind of premium side, but it doesn't really seem like premium shapeshifters are necessarily premium. So if we have a look here, I do want to check where we find our Rudiger and our Depay. So are we shapeshifters or are we premium? So Liga Santander, Depay and Rudiger. And if we go for, I suppose, premium, it's just not going to show up maybe. Okay, so that, that seems to be interesting. That's the way it's going. So on the premium side of things, you've got Rudiger and you've got Depay. Don't worry, neither of them are anywhere near 700K. Obviously, this is a zero to 500K video. So some of you might not have the funds for these cards, but they are very simple and easy to use. The fact that Depay is a five-star skill midfielder means he probably will land himself in my team very soon once he gets to that kind of 500, maybe even the 400K mark where I can argue it's worth spending the coin. So you've got that option there. Now, unfortunately, I don't believe it depends what Van Dijk is. Let's have a look on the Netherlands side of things. Do we have Van Dyke here as well? Or oh, okay, we do. So you can get Van Dyke and you can also get the pie on this one. Now, unfortunately, Van Dyke's CDM is supposedly the best CDM in the game, um, being that it's a five, six mil card. So you can't currently slap them together. So it's a little bit iffy. Unfortunately, Shapeshifters, they've kind of dropped a lot of cards but not a lot of real kind of reality in terms of the pricing i mean the pie being 600k in this time of the year i'm not going to pay 600k for the pie and i've got a ton of coins kind of just sat there spare now looking at the icons i do want to check what the minimum value of these guys is herrero goes down to 11k which means we are going to have a fill day on these cards guys think about the amount of profit we can make you've got a left back and i believe you've got a right back card as well from the looks of things left back and right back so interestingly they pop them on both sides i don't know why they've done the promo how they have they've kind of picked needy cards i'm hoping next week is a little bit better obviously you've got the socrates and stuff like that but when they balance their pricing uh oh that might be a that's a snipe. So that one's going up for, from the looks of things, he goes for 52 and 65. So realistically, that is the one that goes for 52, but there isn't many on the market. So we can definitely get that sold for about 55. And the other one is 65. So if we pop this one up for 55, easy sell. Not going to be huge profits there. There's a couple K in there, but we can also take ourselves a little bit lower, obviously, into the, the filter there if we want to go down to kind of 50, snipe maybe at 49. Or if you want to go for the right back side, you can do so. So you've got options. Herrero has two cards. You've also got the likes of of course Rykard he's got the one singular card you've got Socrates with the singular card and Van Persie now I would say Rykard is definitely a good one to have a play around with because it's just the kind of solo card right now he's probably not a bad shout however unfortunately it is just the one so if you do want to sign Rykard you're just going to be going for the one guy I personally think it's still going to be worth giving him a snipe I don't know if he's going to come up he comes up with the top one here so 95 rated Rykard don't know how they worked out the ratings for this one because I mean, look at that card. That, that to me, yeah, to be fair, is a pretty, pretty insane card. I reckon that is going to be absolutely howling some defenses over this weekend league. I personally have taken a bit of a break from weekend league after Ultimate Tot. It's just, it's a bit stressful, isn't it? it, it let's be honest, guys. I like spending my weekends, you know, maybe a night out, maybe a trip to the pub, maybe go to gym. Spending it doing uh, weekend league was never, never too fun. So if you, you look at 300k, EA tax is going to be about 15. So if we go down to about 270, you're looking at 15k profit, which is pretty wonderful on the basis that this card, I would say, is probably quite snipeable because in my opinion, not a lot of people are buying this card. You'd have to be very... I think you'd have to have a very unique team to think that Rykard fits in and makes a benefit because obviously the, the chemistry is a bit different with these type of icons. They've changed it for shapeshifters. So that's obviously going to play a little bit of a part into these. I know that obviously the cards are soaring more than they really should be. And, and we do have some other fillers that we can use to break down these kind of cards. I think especially when they get to team two, we're going to be looking at a lot of profit there. But unfortunately, right now, you just kind of have what I've run through today. There isn't a lot really you can do because unfortunately they've made it shapeshifters and shapeshifters premium. I don't know why they've made that kind of 
differentiation between the two. They haven't really followed. The only nation there's a lot of is Netherlands, but you can't get the Pi, Rijkaard, and Van Dijk on the same one. Now, obviously, Van Persie is an interesting one to have a look at. So if we go on more of an attacking side of things, if we go for Shapeshifter icon and forward, now we do have a few cards that are going to come up. You've got Rijkaard, you've obviously got Van Persie. Now, Van Persie, obviously, is kind of the, the easy option to, to really go for a filter there because he has two cards. So if you have the coins, take yourself over to Van Persie, take off the forward and just have a look at them both. So we've got the right mid card here. They both have pretty unreal looking cards, but you've got one with five star skills, which obviously is always what makes the difference in FIFA, especially this year. I mean, they, there's some crazy prices on the cards just because they've got five star skills. I know the weak foot is important to people as well, but five star skills really is the seller. So seven, 701 from the looks of things, realistically, you're going to have to go down to about... Uh, EA tax me 35k you're gonna have to pick one of these up for about 650 to really make a big profit so that's kind of where the mark you're gonna be standing is and if you guys are sitting there thinking well I've rushed through this video I kind of have I've got a, a, a night out waiting for me and unfortunately I am on a little bit of a tight schedule today so I hope you guys have still appreciate the filters if you haven't or maybe you want a little bit more yesterday's video was a little bit more in depth but you guys know I'd rather get you guys a little bit of content than no content at all. I do try and get content every single day. So if you've enjoyed this regardless, drop a like down below, subscribe. And if you haven't enjoyed it, drop a like down below and subscribe just for the chance of getting the next FIFA game. Because who doesn't want a free copy of EAFC? If you're new around here, as always, you guys know what to do. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.